I'm delighted to be associated with Cranfield University through this honorary doctorate. Institutions like Cranfield make a vital contribution to all of our futures. I know this myself as a science graduate with 37 years experience in the national security sector in MI5. And I've also seen it more recently in Babcock International's partnership with Cranfield University's Through Life Engineering Services Centre. STEM disciplines power our economy. They make us safer and tackle the intractable problems that challenge our planet. I'm proud to be associated with Cranfield's commitment to growing diverse STEM leaders and enabling people of all backgrounds to meet their full potential in these much needed disciplines. You should all feel proud to be graduates of Cranfield for all those reasons and many more. The COVID period has been tough on so many of us, impacting on every aspect of our lives. But let's not allow it to steal from us all this great moment, this recognition of the fruits of hard work and achievement. You have all climbed a mountain and you should pause to enjoy it, to look around and breathe it in before heading off to your next peak. I think people like me in the latter stages of our professional lives should hesitate before presuming to offer advice to those setting out on their own life adventures. I'm not sure I listened much when I was your age, so I'll be very brief. First, life is just surprising and unpredictable, but always have a plan. As a young graduate, I would never have predicted that I'd end up running MI5, but I did know that I wanted to join and I set out to do so. And I would definitely never have predicted even a year ago that I would become the head of the royal household or that I would join the board of Babcock. But I set out after retiring from MI5 to build a portfolio of a certain mix. So your lives will surprise you too, but you should always have intent at every stage. It's people who know what they want who are most likely to achieve it. So always have a plan for what's next. The second thing I would say is that life always has ups and downs. It has slow times, times when things happen too fast, and inevitably very tough times. Make sure you enjoy the highs and celebrate life. But as COVID has reminded us, you also need to know your foundations and where you draw strength. In my case, that has always been my Christian faith and my family. If you know now who you are, what you believe, and you have invested in the relationships around you, you are more likely to be able to stand strong. That was my experience through the worst of times, including deal with, dealing with extreme terrorist outrages. So my advice to you is to know who you are and invest in those around you. Enough of that. So finally, I would say to all of you, huge congratulations for all that you've accomplished. It's exciting to think what great things might lie ahead for each one of you. Go and seize the opportunities that you've earned. Thank you.